Um, not exactly. Okay. It, like we we found her today, but uh, other things have been going on, and uh, I was trying to sort them. Hopefully, there was not going to be anything. But if my assumptions are right, I may have caused more damage than good. Oh god, what happened? I feel like that would be more of a conversation for you and me, because it's very personal. Cool, got it. Poke the masquerade, call the blood hunt. It's a joke. Uh, <laughs> it's a joke, Melodia. I. It's fine. It's fine. No, but it's not that, even. It's. Don't worry about it. We'll talk about it some other time. Yes. So what's she been caught up on? Hmm? What is... What was your name, dear? Um, Eva Lynn, you could just call me Lynn. That's what everyone used to call me back at home. Alright, Miss Lynn. What has Miss Lynn been caught up on? Um... Nothing, really, besides a lot of people getting hurt yesterday. That, that's about it. And, you know, a couple of other laws and the basics. Yes, I think that's what she was referring to. The basics. Don't be an arsehole. Don't eat people you shouldn't eat. Uh, shut your damn mouth and you see anyone fuck... Pardon me. Um, b b back off slowly. Uh, so, did that's, you cover the traditions or no? <laughs> They did to an okay. extent. <laughs> um, uh, it was a lot of taking yesterday. I, I, feel, I feel like Tannis has done it. Uh, yeah, she did. Relatively okay. extensively. Okay, I was like, um, I was yes. like, that vaguely sounds like she's covered the traditions with you, but I'm like, I don't know. She said, Look. don't be an asshole. That's not a tradition. What do you want about? Okay, <laughs> well, that. Just, you know, don't go after someone and be like, oh, hey, it snack. I woke up and absolutely well, not. All of us are assholes. I woke up and then she was here, and then after that I woke up and then another person was here. Uh, we have, we need an extension for this house because um, we already ran out of rooms. Oh no! Oh, no. Uh, yes. I'm fine on the couch. We are seven people now. Goddamn! Because if we just shove her in the manor, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have another empty room today. What do you mean? Uh, yeah, she's angry at me. It's fine. Just Man, shove her in the woods. <laughs> ah, probably. She's probably moving down here. Oh no. Huh? Excuse me? I I'm lost? Don't worry about it. I'm just mumbling. Um, are you sure I can't get you some more opium, ma'am? I'm not on anything except an excessive amount of food. I have fed so much today, I cannot even fathom what the fuck happened to me. I am high as fuck. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, no, it's not. <laughs> Listen. Your bullshit, and her bullshit, and the other one's bullshit, and fuck. Uh, how do I explain what I did to Rel? You don't. Okay, so when he comes and asks me what I fucking was doing, <laughs> what do I say to him? We'll talk about that later. Don't worry about it. For time. Okay. I was probably so fucking confused. Okay. 
got stabbed and then I like bled all over the man and I think he really took no context whatsoever to what happened. Oh no. Yeah. Uh. Listen, fair warning. Uh, it is not just hunger that can cause a frenzy. Fear, anger, just straight up like being startled, that sort of thing can trigger a frenzy. So mm. be vigilant. Yes, we went over that earlier. I actually did that one. And this is why I'm, I don't get pissed all, uh, often. Not uh -huh. to say that there's not a use of a frenzy. Like, there is purpose for it. She's got to be able to ride the beast. That's or you can just have control and not lose yourself. Mm. Yes, the, it, it'll take time. But it is certainly possible. Mm hmm like I said, with time you can develop a certain state of mind where uh, nothing really is upsetting except for like my family being hurt and but everyone has their limits. That's just... yes. I think that one of the worst one is fear, because fear is so dangerous. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, that looks fear. like a lot. Fear is the most dangerous because it's the worst to control. Sometimes it's not even possible. And so also, I think that learning to retain a certain control when in frenzy as hard as it, as it is, is also important. Um, would handing somebody a newspaper help and just tell them to whack me occasionally? Does it work like that? Oh my no. God. I mean, but, but... That, is a ta that is a tactic that some clans use to teach control. They purposely initiate frenzy in a somewhat controlled environment and then antagonize until they get them back in control <clears throat> yes that's how my dad did it but uh, i don't know if here is a controlled environment i don't think it is there are controlled environments but probably i wouldn't ought to, i would you'd need more controlled environment than this there are controlled environments but you know that would be nice yep whip somebody into like the fucking I don't know the wine cell and lock that bitch up <laughs> alright here we go uh, wine cellar? listen there's a reason a lot of houses have cages in them mm -hmm. uh, okay we we do need that also that shit should be added to the clinic bindings Wait, what? What? Uh, what? Let's go and, let's, let's not discuss clinic alterations just yet, okay? <laughs> that conversation that still needs to happen. Chains on the wall! Why do I have chains in my fucking office? Nice. Uh, yes. Okay. I think this woman has no context, and it's just making her life very confusing. Yes. <laughs> Although, a frenzy room would probably be a that's, good idea. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. <laughs> so a padded room. The jail. We used the jail last time. Yes, we did. Thankfully, yeah, there was no, no, there wasn't a frenzy. Hey! Padded room. Yeah. You're gonna be buying the pads, Miss Lynn? I don't think pads are working. You just cage. Just a fucking cage. Put them in a fucking cage. You think pads grow on trees? You think you think you think that's cheap? Tonka! Well, Straight jacket. 
I can handle that. Give me a bit of time. Until I get used to all the fabrics in these lands, it's weird. <laughs> Tonka, stop it! You know, a pet at home would not be a bad idea, now that I think about it. Let's just rip it up. Let's fluff everywhere. All over the states have these, just saying, we all have them. Yes. Why you got a booth like that? Hey. Yeah, maybe investing in some straight jackets. That's usually good to keep people from hurting others and themselves. Um, people could still headbutt. Yeah, I've experienced that. It's 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 less. But, uh... It's still less dangerous than if they have fucking arms. It's true. It's Make true. a fair point. Mama, you okay? Do you want some aloe for that? Hmm. I'm good. Your wrists. Okay. I should go to bed. It's 3.30, right. almost 4 o'clock in the morning. Gotcha. Yeah, it, it is almost 5 here, so... Uh, okay. Listen, it's not yeah. even noon yet. Oh. Almost 3. Huh, we should the same, same time. Same, uh, yes. Yeah. I think I should go to bed as well. I've been what? having a headache. But uh, I thought this was kind of important. Yeah, yeah. Don't eat people. Without consent. And still, um, don't the, probably uh, eat people. Um, <laughs> also, important, clo clo close the door for like 10 seconds. Out oh, yourself if you okay. feel you must. Don't out anyone else. Do not tell okay. other people's fucking secrets, ever. Um, mm. I'm not... I'm, I'm, I'm not that type of person, ma'am. People are the kind of people. That's why I'm going to say it. Cause fucking... People this... forget sometimes. Just remember that what someone might know about you, they might extend to those that are near you. Okay. Yes, sir. Ten seconds are done. Ten seconds are done. Yes, Audi. That's, that's very I'm... nice advice. Audi. See you guys. Yep, this is fine. Take, take care. Have fun. Fine. Thanks for the invitation. Yep. Come by take more care. often, Sebastian. If you I'd love to. Uh, of course, uh, I'll bring wine next time. Yeah. That sounds like a date. What? No more you dates. really? Don't know that I, I don't know what that the fuck? Another... You fucking man war! <laughs> <laughs> what uh. the fuck, Gloria? <laughs> Every woman in town! You fucking man war! No, nice. It's just a date. It's an... It's an expression. Please don't not say mean that. That is romantic. A date means that is just a, a thing that is. A, mm -hmm. Let's go mm -hmm. spa. Yes, we we, we and, get and, it, and, Melodia. It's a Gloria Melodia, just being go to Gloria. bed. Fine. Okay. Take care. I appreciate you, you all. Don't die, please. I'll try not to. No promises. Okay. Uh huh. Hello, You're after bed, are you? I was gonna go upstairs. Yeah. Hello. You realize if we put off the conversation tomorrow, um, it will likely be this, a lot angrier. That was why I was saying, come the fuck up to the penthouse. Oh, the afternoon notice walls coming, the coming down in my house. Uh, I don't think what? It's remodeling. I am not a constructionist. I, okay. So don't be alarmed if you start seeing your busted yep. walls. Just the absolute right. holes in the walls, that's fine. I'm going to bed, I'll see you guys. Tonight. Yeah, I'm sure you're going to fucking yell at me tomorrow too, which is fine, but you know, it's fine. You fucking deserve it. I don't understand self deprecation. You think it'll, uh, it'll make people take pity? No. It's because I don't believe people will do enough punishment as necessary. It's not like it's something I can fucking explain to anyone.
Hi, Matt. Is there anything that you have to say for yourself? I irrevocably harmed my bestest friend in the entire world. I have attacked my father. I have attacked you. I have probably done irrevocable damage to Maestra. And I don't know what the fuck I did to Rel, but it probably wasn't good either. I have made a horrible mistake. How much do you remember? I can remember the hunger. I remember the feeding. The anger and all of the emotions that flooded into me that I took, that I devoured. Fed into the fancy. I remember holding you down. On some level, I won't have this conversation now because I don't know that I would be able to have it tomorrow or whenever. I don't know how long this lasts. I don't know that I would be able to be in a room with you and I don't want to risk it. I'm sorry. So deeply sorry. I should hate this. You, you understand. This goes against everything I believe in. I want to hate it. I do a little. But I should hate it a lot more. Let's try to be productive. So you don't remember everything. It's hazy. I remember the general it's... emotions I fed on. Do you remember exactly what happened with Rel? Like the actions, what he did, <sighs> what he what he saw. What... I spent the night looking for anyone to feed on. Because I frenzied last night and I fed on my father until he shoved me away. I don't even know if he knew what I was doing. What did he do after that? He gave chase, but he couldn't find me, I suppose. He lost track of me. Or he let me go, I don't know. I still haven't talked to him. Um. I spent the night looking for anyone. And then in my unhinged state, I remembered what I used to do when I was trying to ensnare someone. Which was play a damsel. Give someone some, something to rescue. And so I smashed my face into a wall and I stabbed myself. And then I went looking. Look, looking for anyone who wanted to be a hero. And I found Rel. Where, where was Silas all night and all morning Do you know? when he was the last one to see you? I have no idea. I don't know if he even knew what happened. You're saying he saw you in a frenzy. He should know better than to let you run around. My father believed that I was sanguis for a long time because that was what I thought I was supposed to be. That is what I was trained as. And I was not a good child for that specific reason because I was always hungry. So... 
How is he Casa supposed to? Casa had some very loud words to say earlier. Yes, she did. I... I... No. With Edward. <laughs> what did you say to Edward? I don't... I don't want to assume because I only heard muffled yells through the door because they were yelling and I hope I heard wrong, I really do because I sincerely hope Silas didn't leave his frenzied daughter loose in the countryside to go do what I think I heard. I will put that under the misheard category and to maintain any amount of respect for him. Clearly, Rel didn't kill you. You didn't kill him. No. So what happened? saw me and I collapsed into his arms and did the thing I always used to do put my hands on his face and I kissed him because it's easier to feed deep when you do that Then I think I passed out from battle loss. I don't think I thought that through. Y yes, people usually use fake blood or not their blood to fake injuries. I've never been never claimed to be so a smart you, you, person. You you kissed him, you 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 fed some and then passed out. I don't know how deeply I fed on him. But I vaguely recall some feeling that I wanted. I wanted from him, but I. Do it. Lost consciousness before I got it. Well, that's simple enough then. However, he. You know, however his emotions may have changed, this strange woman appeared bloody, kissed him and passed out. That's that's enough for anyone to be out of it and confused and have a change in their emotions. You don't have to explain anything to him. Deny. Thank him for saving you. You know, be grateful. Apologize for whatever you did in your... Uh, de delirious, you know, bled out almost state. Weren't in your right mind, etc. Alright. You think you can do that? I think you can so. sell that? Probably. No. It's not like I bit him or anything like that. I don't do that. It's, um, emotions are something people associate with themselves, not something people innately attribute changes to external forces. With that said, today was a clusterfuck. I... Between Rail and Maestra and Marcellus and Silas and whoever else you might have said things to or they, you have to be prepared for the, the possibility that it will spread. I 
don't know what the fuck was Maestro doing there. I don't know. I think Marcellus went to find your father. I I don't I don't know. I slow mo helped you in the hospital. And then I took you and said, and said I was taking you to the manor. Then I brought you to the clinic. For further checkup. And then people just started showing up. I don't know if Slomo said something or if Marcellus said something to someone. I don't know. Vactu was involved somehow. Vactu sent Maestra. Vactu is one of my feeders. Okay. So he he I presume. I don't know if he, he knows, knows exactly. And, uh, what it is that I do, he knows that I do it, and he knows that I am kindred. He sent Maestra with very specific instructions. He knows apparently exactly what it is that you do. Well, it isn't he, surprising. He knows well, a lot. He, I have, like I said, he is one of my feeders, but he's one that's aware of it, unlike a lot of the others aren't. Right. He has rage issues. And uh, it is the control mechanism that he uses. Holy shit, does Maester have rage issues? What the flying fuck? I mean, that doesn't surprise me. That woman definitely looks fairly high strung most of the time. She, um,. It's not what I'm worried about for her, though. She got some weird hand tattoos between the afternoon and the evening. Hey, what? Did she? I thought so. She didn't have them in the room in the clinic, but I saw them in the in Murky Stone later. I, I have no idea. I I didn't even see. It it doesn't matter. You'll have to speak to her eventually. She says that she trusts you. I assume you've worked together on things or the Shh. festival or whatever. No, 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 no. Um, she's one of the people who had unredacted versions of a lot of the witness statements. And she knows that I covered it. So I don't know who it was particularly that I she asked me to protect other if it was Voktu or if it was someone else. This time around it was Cordelia. Well, but she I seems to like you well enough. I asked her to keep it what happened to herself until you can speak to her. She said that you've been I don't, I don't remember exactly what she said. Helpful, trustworthy, a friend, or something or other. Something to that effect. Which I took as a yes, but you will need to speak to her. I don't know if you'll give her the full nine, or if you'll just ask her to be quiet. That's that, that's your thing to, to decide. had love on her surface and I followed it deep and I'm very worried that I have hurt her. It is one thing well, if you to get someone's rage. She should rage. have followed my damn instructions then. I told her 10 seconds, then let go. Switz. Everybody wants to be the hero. Everybody wants to... Nobody understands the idea of an overdose or the, or the idea of letting someone rest and not sending them into well a feeding frenzy nobody listens to me it's it's fine i'm surprised that i can even master this much Where are your gloves? On my belt. Threatened cash. 
told her to come the fuck and, down. Put, put them on, I'll give you a hug. I don't want a hug. You touched. need one. I don't want to be touched. And... <sighs> yes, you do. Everybody wants to be touched. You just, you're just scared of what comes with it. Go on. Now, before you go perpetuating my reputation, I am not putting any moves. This is a purely platonic, comforting effort. Is that understood? I don't want anything like that from you, Seb. Apparently, I need to make these disclaimers now. I am the one who held you down and tried to fucking suck your face off. Accept it where you can, Gloria. I don't know how I'll be feeling whenever I get back to normal. You but I can fine. see that you need help. I can see that you need help. And I am in a condition to offer it right now. I don't know if that'll keep being the case. Well, you have every right to be angry with me. Well, I can't, can I? Not really. Oh. Suppose in a way that is... I, I can see the practicalities. So many things happen today that would infuriate me. All the same, though, I don't. I won't go into my. I won't go into my opinions and feelings right now. Let's focus on more important things. What the hell did you say to Tasha? I don't even fucking know. What happened in there after I left? And Marcellus left? She went on about how my father had betrayed her because she prom made him promise not to say anything to me because she broke a promise to me and, you know, because she's been keeping my fucking secret for centuries and she was the only one in the family that knew because she was my fucking doctor and she fucking figured it out. And she broke trust with me to my father and so she was angry at him because he fucking told me he commanded me not to do what I literally just did and so she was angry at him when I was the one who fucking did it you know she has every right to be angry not with, not with him yes with him you've made it abundantly I understand what you're trying to do, but people are responsible for their actions and decisions. Yes, and I was and the one who robbed her of her humanity, not my father. All he trying to do is protect her. He didn't know I was going to fucking frenzy. She would have never I'm found well out if familiar. I had frenzy. I am well familiar with the concept of doing what needs to be done for someone's benefit, even if they don't agree with it. But there's a reason why I don't force treatment on people, Gloria, not on adults. 
Adults make their choices. Adults are their choices. It was her choice to make, not Silas's. And she made it, didn't she? Yes. It is not as even if it was my choice or Silas's, it was her choice. What did you say to her? I called her a bitch. Call her a damn bitch. Probably that too. So she says. It is like. You do not stick your arm in any f anyone who's frenzied mouth. You don't fucking do that. And that is what she did. I know. I was there. Kept expecting. It's. Didn't want to make her choices for you. For her, rather. I thought. She'd pull back, or Silas would pull her back. I ended up doing it. If only because that wasn't your deal and you weren't in control of yourself. And it wasn't fair to you that she did that. So now she's angry at my father because she made a decision. I was the knife. She has many reasons to be angry. I was Silas. Nice. There's no right to forbid her anything. She didn't. For, he didn't forbid her. He forbid me. In her stead. He is my and sire. He and he hid it from her. Again, I understand why I'd share his opinion, hell. I did not I would not want her to do this. But that is not his decision to you make. You asked me to make first. the decision in her stead. No, not to do it. I, I did not tell you to not do it. I probed you for your opinion and feelings. I never asked you to do or not do anything. Because it's not my place to not put me in that bag when I tried so hard. When it took every ounce of willpower to stay civil and not offer opinions or try to persuade you or any of the other things that I wanted to do. And at the end of it, it really didn't matter if he forbid it, or you disapproved, or I didn't want to. I was still the knife that cut away her humanity. <laughs> maybe... Maybe I got to her in time. Maybe... It, <laughs> surely it can't be that fast. It was only a few seconds before I dragged her off. I don't know. She just laid it all bare. Regardless, I'll tell you what I told her. This isn't... It's certainly a big thing, but it's not as be-all and all as you seem to think it is. We've talked about this. I think around a few people I've talked about the canine nature theory I subscribe to. The one regarding our incapability for selfless or pure motives and feelings and thoughts. Yes? Yeah, so, if I cut away the residual of whatever she had, how would it ever go back? I'll tell you what I told her. 
we may not have it in our nature to be a certain way or think a certain way but we have self-determination Golconda exists and those that search for it are proof of this concept if I want to be selfless even if I am naturally not so if I want to I can play the part I can act the part I can go through the motions and if I live my life that way my nature may not be that but I am that my life is that if someone wants to be something they can work for it and it, perhaps it won't be as natural or as easy to come by but they can do it we have self-determination all the time in the world to work on our goals Kasha, even today even while this is all so fresh expressed regret at the loss of her empathy seemed to be wondering what she would do now without it I think she can grow grow it back or at least leave the part I hope you're right. It'll be up to her. The, the possibility exists. The ability to do so is there. It's just a matter of commitment and determination. I don't know I don't know what time away will make of her. I don't know what she'll think of the situation, of the people, of me, of anything. I don't know where she's going to go. You don't know? She just said she was leaving. It's not my place to fill in the blanks you don't know. You have to talk to her yourself. Yeah. I played the part. I played my part in this. But I'm not the only one. And I think you understand. I think so. Ruined everything. No, you haven't. This is an explosion. Explosions die out, resulting fires peter off. You just have to be ready to clean out the rubble. Despite how angry she was today, despite how much angrier you made her by being yourself, you're still each other's best friend, I believe that. She kept... I need to help her remember that when she comes back. She kept offering to help me. And it kept saying no, because I didn't want, I didn't want her to ask me again, and I thought that that would help. It didn't help. We 
I am cruel to you in the days to come. Please try to understand. That I deserve it. Oh! Oh, okay. Uh, sir! Gloria over here having her and entire family fucking explode. Oh, I fatal aired. Oh my god. I uh, no, I fatal aired. Oof. <sighs> Give me a second. I'm sorry. This man is just now locked in her room. Yeah, sleepy puppies, which is what I should be as a sleepy puppy. <sighs> this girl's like, what's Gehenna? <laughs> Hang on, I need to like do recognition at that girl.
Oh, they're they're like two or three years old now. They're, that's a that's a gif of them from a quite a while ago. They're quite a bit bigger now, but um, they're good doggos. No, not that you deserve it. But you hit a very... very specific... sore spot for me. To me, emotions, good and bad, are... A proof of life, for lack of a better word. And I want them, all of them. Even the bad ones. So, understand that you're not the first person in frenzy that I dealt with. You're the first person of your type, which is why I was so bad at helping you. But I believe, somewhat calm as I am now, that. Any anger I direct at you in the future will be misdirected and mostly out of frustration. I wish I was sanguis. I do. And I wish I was human and had died 400 years ago. What's the point of saying either? Because you don't have to wear a mask among all the people in the masquerade, at least. You think you're any more or less dangerous than the rest of us? You realize that if people hadn't come in the room when they did, I would have defended myself. You may be stronger than me, but you're in a frenzy. I'm smarter than you. I might have killed you, or you might have killed me. And anyone is dangerous. It's not about... What you take... Go ahead. What you take kills just as easily as blood. I believe that. If you take someone and you drain them, they are dead. But so does the regular draining. That also kills. Anyone going into a frenzy is a danger to themselves and others. The only thing that makes you more dangerous is that I don't know how to help you. And we're going to fix that. not a monster, Gloria. You should know. We all should know. There is no such thing. I didn't used to have an addiction like this. Yes, well, you're not known for your good habits. You've let yourself interpret this. Since coming here, you've been you've been riding very high, very fast. You've not been careful. You've been careful for everyone else. Yes, your attempts to hide breaches and keep things under control. But you've let yourself go. You're not mindful of yourself or of your actions. But you can fix that. I was scared. 
scared. I'm still scared. And what my father's going to say. And what's Shouldn't worse be. is he was so willing to show me how much he still loved me. And I couldn't control myself. I understand that you're distressed, Gloria, but what you're saying doesn't make sense. In the same breath, you admitted that your father loves you. And now you're concerned about what he might do? If you were in your right mind, you wouldn't be. I'm sure he'll have words for you, yes. But this all stemmed from proof that he loves you. And you didn't... You didn't and take I that didn't away from... Damage that you. irrevocably? And that no. I have not put a schism in my house? That is a different matter, but that was only a matter of time. With the way Tassa is, the whole situation, and hell, I've never seen your house united, I'll be honest with you. Well, I don't count my aunt. We're pretty fucking good for a while. Regardless, you had your part to play in this. But it's not entirely your fault. It's not even majorly your fault. Your situation was a catalyst. If it hadn't been this, it would have been something else in a day or two from now. Hell, I'm more to blame in this than you are. How the hell do you figure well, that? Well, maybe not necessarily anymore after what happened with Tasha. <laughs> what you took. I love role playing with with but, uh rep. What do you mean how to figure that? How is this at all your fault? Because I am a selfish man. A deeply selfish man. It's not all doom, Gloria. Your father loves you. I'm sure you'll figure things out. Tasha still loves you. She didn't lose that. She's just angry. And she needs time to figure herself out. But you can't salvage things with her. I know you can. It's all shit. We need to talk about your situation, Gloria. This could have been a lot worse. And I don't want another Jason on my conscience. I'm not going to just sit back and think it's going to be okay anymore. You and I... The problem is, I don't know how to help you when you get like that. Because sure, tying you down might work, but that involves fighting you, which isn't the easiest prospect at the best of times, and also involves contact, which again, isn't a good idea. With other people, I know to provide them 
what they need and they will be distracted and they will calm down. I don't know how to provide what you need without putting someone at risk like today. I used to ride frenzies when I was killing. I used to get really close to people I wanted to kill. Make them fall in love with me. And then consume them all the way down to the seed. And I do that a lot. Until it became almost involuntary. Until it became one of those things that was difficult any time I touched anyone. I just stopped touching people altogether. That is not helpful. I was a very vengeful individual when I was young. And I think I dug a very deep pit for myself your success has made you arrogant the problem is I had an idea but I don't know that it's gonna work on you because you're not able to receive the gift of blood like the rest of us. I thought for a moment that perhaps I could prepare. But I was thinking I was thinking in the wrong premise. I was again thinking in terms of blood. Blood very highly concentrated in with the emotions that you need. The emotions that you feed on. I thought that might work, but I I don't know that it most likely won't, because I, I don't know that someone without, well, someone not Sangris would be able to tell the differences in the blood, would be able to receive the emotions like we can. But it's worth a shot at the least. Just, I've only ever met one other Psy, and only in passing, and that was the first time I had ever come to the conclusion that maybe it wasn't a fucking mistake, or that's a, an abomination, or whatever, and I've never had a chance to talk to her about it, and I very blatantly... An abomination. Gloria, I, how could you be so unreasonably insecure are, are we going do you have any idea the percentage of our kind relating to humanity any any idea at all no there are several zeros involved I need you to take a moment to consider how absurd it is that we don't consider, that you don't consider that tiny percentage an abomination, but you consider a different, tinier percentage because an I, abomination. I didn't know there were, it wasn't some malformed embrace. That's what you I thought, thought you were it was. Special. No. You thought you were unique, rather. It was reassuring to find out that there was another. I can understand that. Yes, maybe it wasn't a mistake. I'm a 
love. I wish you wouldn't make me. Why do you say these things? Why do you show this vulnerability in front of me? Uh, probably because I'm kind of high on compassion and empathy and rage and fear and all sorts of other things running through me at like an insane pace and I really don't know what to fucking do yes. with myself. I had to stop you from running your mouth in front of a bunch of people earlier. You clearly need to be isolated until this, or whatever it is, this, this, this high is over. Look. I need to know how to help you. We need a better way to help you than throwing cash at you. Yeah, that's a bad idea. And it can't just be I'm having a bad day and someone fucking accidentally touches me because they know my I give really good handholds. <sighs> you know that's how I end up with fetus usually. They don't even know what's the fuck is happening. They just consider it a calming fucking presence. Hoping that's what happens with Rael on the reverse. He just thinks that he was just very confused about what was going on. But... I don't believe you've practiced self-control. I think I believe you've practiced the opposite. You described it earlier. You've been using it and using it and using it and getting so sensitive with it that now you can't even touch someone without having a major risk. Well... I can't. Don't well me. You, you had that with me the other day. Don't well me. You know I'm right. It is... If I put fucking blood in your mouth when you were hungry and asked you not to swallow... I'm not going to. Because I practice my self-control. And it's not... Is it really the same as putting it in your mouth? Is that the analogy? Just by touching someone? Wouldn't it be like smelling it? When I touch someone, I feel I their surface emotions. And all I have to do is pull. And practice not pulling. I regularly do that. Well, not consistently enough. Still, we, again, I... The difficulty is some people just wear love on their fucking sleeve. And that is what causes me to... It's, it's hard. It's very difficult not to pull on that. And that's what you're gonna have... Practice. Oh yes, he's going to volunteer the love for me to practice on. I will help you, Gloria, whether you like it or not. No, I really don't want to know that about you, Seb. I, I, I don't care what you want. L look at what happened today. You know that can't happen again. <sighs> if we can't come up with a way to stop you from your frenzy whenever your addiction kicks in then we just need to cure you of your addiction I don't think I'm willing to lose anything to you there's going to be a method hell if you'd rather it be someone else then find someone else just fix your shit Agree to this, agree to these efforts. 
Um, I'll, I'll likely be a lot less angry with you. Because the fact that it happened may not be your fault, but what you do with it moving forward is entirely up to you. Take responsibility. Fine. You can try your insane whatever it is you want to do. Understand, Gloria. To me, my, I am my emotions. Yes, but you don't recognize what your emotions are anyways. You described to Shame. me the emotions, the things that you wanted to dra distill. I couldn't help but laugh. Because I felt as though you'd never know what they were. I am fairly self-aware most of the time. Perhaps I call things differently in my head. Regardless, I'm telling you this to say that this is not going to be a walk in the park for me. This is not something I suggest lightly or happily for that matter. But I sat back once before. I let other people take the responsibility before. And then Kasha was attacked, and Mestra was attacked. And we should have just fucking killed attacked. him in the first place. I should have done a lot of things differently. <sighs> I have many regrets as far as Jason goes, but I learn from my mistakes. I don't want you poking around in my head and pulling the most viable thing to me. I certainly am not going to let you per permanently take anything. But you need help. And I won't sit back again. You know, it's been almost a decade since I've deep fed on anyone. And I think I did it four times today. It doesn't matter if you only lose control once every hundred years. That's still an infinite amount in the fullness of time. Okay, if we're going to argue about numbers, I don't want a math class, but I feel like you're in different sizes of infinity. There is no size to infinity, Gloria. What the fuck? <laughs> That's the whole concept. Yes, but not all infinities are the same size. Yes, there's an infinite yes, number. Yes. No, there there's no. no size there's between... an infinite right, number right. of okay. numbers between zero and one, but there's also an infinite number of numbers between zero and a million. But there's a different infinite number of them. No, no. Yes, the, yes. The, one the, is a bigger right, set of infinity. Right. There is no bigger or lesser than comes to infinity. That's infinity the whole plus one. Uh, God damn it, alright. <laughs> Get out of here with your theoretical mathematics. This is my apartment! Okay, alright. <laughs> Look. Listen, you're not a scientist and neither am I. I don't think we should be arguing about infinity. You're arguing about infinity. You're uh, just my wrong. My point is, it happened. Okay, <sighs> and... Apparently... The, the chances of you accidentally catching someone are not terribly high but they're not terribly low either the, the chances of someone near you feeling love at least high enough that you might pick it up are not terribly high but they're not terribly low the chances of both of those happening at the same time are low but not low enough that they can be ignored. Listen, there's not a lot of times that my sire finds out something I have been hiding from him since I was embraced, and then goes, I love you anyways. It's fucking have a hug, even though I pulled away three times before. 
So you're you're saying you're gonna be fine. You're saying this, no, this was I'm a not fluke and not saying you. that. But I'm saying your infinity argument is bullshit. It's almost five o'clock in the morning. Get the fuck out of my apartment, Seb. You talk about it tomorrow, and then you can yell at me tomorrow, and then whatever it was. <sighs> Thank you for trying. I'm sorry. I'm a horrible person. Throw me off a fucking balcony if it makes you feel better. Night. <laughs> it's fucking... Sorry, it's four... It's five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Alright. This is fine. Alright, let's go raid someone. <laughs> Fine. Why is Rep not online for me to raid? I'm gonna raid Eliana because I think she'll be on longer than anybody else is going to be. Alright guys, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> because I didn't stream. Joke's on you. No, it's fine. It's fine. You didn't stream just because you didn't want me to raid you. I'll catch you tomorrow, rap. Oh my god, I'm so fucking traumatized. Night! Bye!